So be prepared for some variations and some crooked conversations. But if your focus is bold. I mean, congratulations for like being Thank on you. TV. Like how fucking cool is Thank that? <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty insane. Um, yeah. like, thank you. Yeah. yeah. So surreal. <laughs> That's so, so, so cool. So take it back. Like when did your love of interior design start? Um, God, I, I think I've always loved it. Always had some interest in it. Um, I always wanted to like rearrange my spaces at a young age and um, you know, decorated my rooms in high school. My dad let me when my parents were divorced. He let me like totally redo my room, and that was um, like and like go for it, like match all the fabrics and paint the room and thing, you know. I mean, and it was ugly, but I did it. <laughs> you know, like, it was maroon, and now when I look back at it, I'm like, God. Um, but um, <laughs> but I tried, and I. And I had a lot of fun doing it. And, and even in college, like decorating my dorm and like every house I lived in, like I would go all out. Um, so I, it's just, I think in my space, the space I'm around, that like in my spatial arrangements are really important to um, to my vibe. You know what I mean? Like I yeah. hate to, but yeah, like I need it to feel a certain way or live in a certain like thing and it makes it feel better regardless if it's like, it doesn't even have to be that nice. It just, it has to I kind of like to feel vibey in my space so right I guess forever yeah <laughs> that's awesome that's awesome so when did you actually start your interior business um I started it in Chicago um and I think that was in 2012 okay. um yep first started it in Chicago in 2012 and I had a few clients there um some of my favorite projects i've ever worked on but then i found out i was pregnant with punky and um and i wanted to be closer to family you know, ryan was on the road so much and we lived downtown in a high rise and i was kind of like i don't want to be pregnant alone here you know i didn't know that many people and i had no family um so i had uproot and it was kind of a, like at the at a time though where i was like man I, my business just took off here like i was just like getting noticed and doing really cool work with some really awesome like people that jived with me um so that was a hard decision but um but i don't regret it so and you know we did it and i yeah. wanted to be close to family and it worked so that's what we did yeah yeah awesome awesome so i think I remember you saying, I don't know if you like posted about it or you talked about it somewhere, but you had mentioned being on TV was kind of like a big dream of yours. So yeah. how old were you when you were like, yes, I want to be on TV? Um, in, when I was in college, I started as a biology major. And then um, I was kind of like, we'd watch HGTV and like, TLC and um, it was Trading Spaces, which I think was on TLC. And I thought it was hilarious. And I was like, God, I want to do this. Like, I want to be the host of this. Um, and I want to be an interior, like biology, what am I doing? And I thought like when I went to college, you could only be like a doctor or a lawyer or a business person. And like, I didn't even know what business person meant. That's really <laughs> sad. <laughs> like, like your briefcase and your suit. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, that only means you can work on Wall Street. Um, yeah. so, <laughs> and I did, I did an internship on Wall Street. So I was like, that's, that's what that means. Um, but <laughs> I like, none of those things were meant for me. If science, yes. Like I could, I could. I could definitely, if I wasn't doing what I'm doing, I see myself being a nurse or a doctor, um, without, without a doubt, definitely some sort of nurse. Like I would, I would have loved that. Um, but that wasn't the path I took. I at the time I was like, there's an interior design school. I had no idea that was like a thing and, um, started interior design school and said, I wanted to be a TV host. And I actually sat down in Knoxville. Knoxville is where like, there's a lot of major production companies in Knoxville randomly. Um, and sat down with one of my parents' friends named, named, um, oh, Steve Land. And he had a production company and I, um, told him I wanted to be a host on HGTV. And he said, okay, we'll go get your face in front of all the cameras 
and do all the things. And um, actually, I, I keep saying I, I didn't really do that, but I, I did actually film some random segments here and there. Nothing major, but like some really embarrassing things probably to pull up. <laughs> and like I thought back on it, like I actually found one with two of our friends in Chicago and I was like, oh, that is bad. Um, but so I did get in front of a camera a few times, just not that much. <laughs> That's so funny. That's so funny. So then talk about the show. Like, where, where does it come from? Who approaches you? What, like, talk about the whole thing. Totally. Um, the show is based here in Charleston. And um, it was seven families that renovated their homes. And I, um, I they, they were... Uh, the name, I mean, it, they found, it was kind of based on me doing Breaking Bland. That wasn't the name in the beginning. Um, they um, they wanted homes to look different in Charleston. So that was kind of the premise behind it. And all of these seven families knew that, knew me, knew that I was going to be the designer. They just didn't know like what I was going to do to their houses. Um, if they had some idea and I could show them like idea books and I could see their Pinterest, but I wasn't allowed to show them my final design. Um, and Ugh. that was it. Oh God, you have, you know me, like I'm anxiety central. Like that was, I was like, oh, like reading in a paper bag before every time, like, oh God, I hope they love it. Oh God, I, like crying. It was like, <laughs> and I yeah. like when walking in the door with them and the reveals was like, intense for me because that's a real reveal like there's cameras on you they have not seen it i have no idea if they're gonna like it i am so nervous i'm hyperventilating every time and then it, you, they capture the real and i cry in almost every reveal as you because i'm like yeah <laughs> do they like it do they like it do they like it <laughs> do you really like it and be like turn off the camera do you really like it <laughs> and they did it was like God, but um, that that is also a lot of fun. To next time, I was like, can we like give like a little more detail so I don't have a nervous breakdown right before every one of them? <laughs> is that like typical but, for those type of shows, though? Like, is that kind of the way that it goes when people have their house renovated like that? Is that much of it that actual yeah. a big reveal? Totally. Some actually, actually, I went back and looked, and some of them walk you through the design process and some of them don't and i think the premise i mean i don't know if this was actually why we didn't do it for the show but i think the reasoning why and this would make perfect sense as a designer who has to who does present ideas to clients often and gets weird looks um that i think it's that they if you sometimes if you hear a, a new design like what i was doing often like i would tell them what i was doing but if you like see it and have too many time, too much time to like not totally understand the full picture, then um, then it, it's too scary and you want to back away. You know what I mean? Like, because yeah. I, I would never be allowed to show them a 3D render. And that's like where you would see the whole picture of what it looks like in the finished end, um, because that's a reveal. So they wouldn't be able to see that. So just showing little pieces of a design, it's really hard for everybody to conceptualize what that really means in the end. Like yeah. I get it now, like why, you know, I honored their Pinterest as much as I could and then kind of, and, and who they were, I mean, obviously I spent like a bajillions of hours thinking about who these people were and how they love their space. So, um, I just hope I interpreted it properly, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's so what I, I was going to ask you. Why. Like, how do you, yeah. how do you find inspiration? You mentioned Pinterest, but like, how much time do you spend with the clients talking to them and like in their yeah. like personal life? Like how much time do you spend with people? Um, I typically like to spend a lot of time with people. Like I think if, when I have a design client anytime, I tell them, you know, like we're going to become good friends. We're going to be together a lot. Like we're going to get to really know each other. Um, Cause truly the premise behind my designs is like, I want to know like who you are inside and out. Like, how do you use your space? What makes you happy? What um, what are your favorite colors? What are your favorite shapes? What are your favorite places to travel? What like, what's your favorite music? What do you like to wear? Like so anything, like what kind of art do you gravitate towards? And that helps me like generate a style 
based on you and who you are, um, my interpretation of that style in my head, but it's pretty, you know, once you know all those things about somebody, you can kind of like pick up their style range. Um, and yeah, that that's kind of go from there. Just like really getting to know somebody on a deep in depth level and then trying to bring that their beautiful, shiny personality into their space. Nice. So how long does it actually take you from meeting with a this, client to the, like the big reveal? Um, for the show? Well, was, in actual time. In, in real, I so said we did it fast in the, for the show. It okay. was insane that we, I, I honestly, when they told us we were going to do these renovations in six weeks, I was like, no, we're not. <laughs> like, that's insane. I know. I was like, nope, I've never, nope, that's never going to happen. Like my builder and I were both like, no, <laughs> like there's no way. Um, but it happened and we did it well. I mean, we all like were dead at the end, but um, we all <laughs> never worked so much in my life, but um, it did happen. So these, these renovations were four to six weeks. Only one was four weeks. The rest were six. Um, and, but in real life, those projects, most of them would take four to six months. Okay. Yeah. That's what I figured. Yeah. 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 Realistically, like not, not all trades show up and like, but it's amazing that people really do show up, you know, like there's a TV crew. They, they showed up. So it was kind of nice. Um, nice. It's like now I know <laughs> we can do this fast guys. <laughs> yeah. If you've laid a fire under them, it will happen yeah. faster. <laughs> totally. Totally. But kind of, I am okay with giving them their space and letting it happen the, the other way as well. For sure. For sure. So what is like the craziest thing? I mean, I guess it could be during the show, but in, I guess, your whole experience of renovating homes or whatever. So what is the craziest thing that you've ever come across? I watch these shows and people experience, you know, they pull the wall down and they find the most random shit and you're like, what the hell? Totally. So what is like something that you've discovered in a home that was just like, oh my God. <laughs> um, I think it was our house actually. Uh, it's okay. definitely our house. Our house, <laughs> we bought a house um, that like, I was driving by, I wanted to live near the beach and um, and I was doing a job over here and I kept driving by and driving by. And I knew like we could not afford, like I had to find a piece of land essentially. And this one house was so weird. And every time I drove by it, it was like a meth lab was in there, but um, it, <laughs> But I was like, it's weird though, and I like it. It's got some strange architecture, and like it's a big project, and I really wanted a project. So this house, when we got into it, we ended up obviously we bought it. Um, when we got in it, it had wood rot, asbestos, um, black mold. I mean, all all the things. The subfloor was falling through. We bought it as is. I like knew this. I didn't know like I didn't honestly I didn't think about asbestos or like that didn't occur to me. Um, but the others, I was kind of like, not, not really shocked by all this. <laughs> like, I wanted to salvage as much as I could to save as much money as I could, but ultimately it was like, just get, we need a safe house to live in. So, um, we ended up cutting a ton of the design budget actually, and a ton of the, um, like we cut landscaping. We had a pool originally. Ha ha. Um, <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was a fun thought. Um, but oh, so we cut a lot of those type of things um, just to make sure we had a safe home, and that's worth it a million times over. So for sure, this this house is definitely the one where I was like, gross. <laughs> like, I can see why people wanted me to. Everybody, all the builders told me to, um, to plow this house and start over. And I was like, no, no, I, I mean, yeah, I have faith. We can do this. We're going to do this. And then I got in, I'm like, oh, I see why. <laughs> it's really gross. <laughs> but you guys pulled it off and that's awesome. Yeah, that's totally. awesome. You Thank made you. an awesome home for you guys. So that's sweet. Thank Especially you. now having to be there, you know, it's true, 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 for sure. So Absolutely. it seems like people, like the number one room is like their kitchen. Is that true? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Um, kitchen and bathrooms. Because those are where, A, you're going to get the most bang for your buck. 
um, and any resale, but also it's the most used space in your home. So, you know, I mean, how often are you in your kitchen in a day? Like, yeah, it's yeah, stop. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so uh, that like is the room you want to be the highlight. Um, and yeah, that was so often bathrooms too. And that makes perfect sense because I was renovating at home and I had to choose. It always started with my kitchen or my like master suite. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, for sure. Yeah. So what is like your biggest pet peeve of being a designer? Ooh, that's a good one. Um, pet peeve. That's hard. You know, it's my, it's me as a, me personally, and I'm my own biggest pet peeve on site. Like yeah. <laughs> my like own, um, you know, always questioning myself and not always knowing my worth. Um, I'm like, you know, I'm like, okay, free, well, free, you know, and that's not okay for anybody, you know, nobody in business should, um, should not know their worth. So I think I'm my biggest pet peeve in a design project because I, um, I feel you. <laughs> I, you know, I, yeah. And, and I need to, I know I change my mind a lot on a job site and I'm like, every time I do, I'm cool with it, but, and I love that, but I need to be okay with that. You know, like I need to be okay with like, you know, this about yourself. Don't like, just keep doing it. You know, <laughs> like, yeah. you're going to change your mind. Design is fluid. You only like half of every beginning of like, I loved it. There's another designer named Brian Patrick Flynn. He's an amazing designer. And he actually put into words and this made me feel better about me. Like where I would judge myself kind of harshly for changing my mind. So often I'm like, why can't I just fix, like stick to my design? But he was, I watched his show one day and he was like, look, I'm going to give you a design and I'm going to tell you that like, I can't remember what percentage he used, like 75 or 80% or 90 but only 90% of this beginning design is what actually happens because I changed my mind along the way. And I was like, oh, look at how confident he is saying that. Me too. I'm going to be confident in the fact that I changed my mind a lot too. <laughs> you should, you should. That means that yeah. you're always thinking, you're always like, you know, your mind's always going and creating. And I think that's awesome. Totally. You have to, as an artist in whatever it is, if you're an artist, you always are. You just, yeah. It's yeah. not really done. Can't help it. No, yeah, totally. You just cannot help it. Like if my brain just stopped at the first design I put out on the table, like I, that would be confusing. You know, <laughs> like, how it keeps going and evolving from there. So he's, he's right. I mean, just own it. For sure. So what was your favorite part about doing the show? Um, all of it. I mean, it was such a fun, incredible experience. Um, Meeting the families and the, the final review, like the end, watching the families walk into their new house was like that. That is a different, that's the kind of feeling you can't explain. Like I, I mentioned being very nervous, but watching them be happy after that, it made that those nerves, it was, you know, it's a crazy roller coaster. Um, so watching them get to have that space is like, it's fulfilling. It's, it's, in, it's a really great feeling. So what has been your biggest learning experience or takeaway from doing the show? Um, learning experience and takeaway. I, learning experiences, it was really hard. And I, um, I ran my business, I tried to run my business alongside of while filming. And that was also <clears throat> really difficult. And I, and then I, and I went all in and I'm glad I went all in for sure. Um, and I went all into all of it, but I, I now know that it's a, it's a real roller coaster and I really need to be, um, I need to rest and I need to be grounded and working myself to the point of like where I have nothing left to give is not a sustainable thing. So to just be conscious of, um, I'm taking care of that and making sure I'm not, you know, running too many things at once and still honoring, like taking care of sleeping and still my family yeah. and doing yeah. getting enough water. <laughs> right. Totally. Those types of things that help you sustain a healthy outlook in life and, yeah. um, and to help you feed you as an artist and as a person. So yeah, that is, I under, I know that 
um, one of my fatal flaws is my ability to work myself to death. But um, that it's a it's a blessing and a curse. <laughs> so yeah. I have to make sure I balance that, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. But, so, so do you think the the hundred day challenge that we both did, like how do you mm -hmm. think that being a part of that helped factor in during this like whole craziness that you were doing? That's that's it brings me right back to my point that um we we were doing that up until like halfway through shooting. Um we ended yeah, almost when we were like close to the end of shooting. Um, okay. No, I still had some time left. Oh, we were we did it through about halfway through shooting. I couldn't talk about it. Uh, I couldn't tell anybody what I was doing. Um, so I, it it was hugely helpful because in the beginning I was giving myself, I was taking care of myself and um, and making sure I was resting and and making sure I was giving that thirty minutes for myself. But towards the end, like those, I lost that ability to control that and just went like all in. Um, so it. I think that having those challenges and having that time to remind myself that this 30 minutes is like imperative to how you're going to um, be able to move forward was so important um, to, to stay clear headed and not just, you know, roll around like a yeah. hamster wheel nonstop, you know, <laughs> for sure. For sure. Oh yeah. yeah. It helps. Yeah. It helps. You don't think so. I'm always like, Oh, I don't really know if I should go down there. I'm like, look at all these things I have to do. And it's like seriously 30 minutes goes by so fast and you're like so you feel so much better you're like let's do this the rest of the afternoon yeah. you got it totally and like you don't even realize that sometimes when you're spinning your wheels like that that some of it isn't even productive you're just like going so fast mm -hmm. and everything so until you can like unwind take your time and then kind of refocus and get back into it with a clear and level head for um, sure yeah yeah it's very helpful so are there plans for another season? Not yet. So okay. I, I, it's, that's like part of the roller coaster. It's, um, it was so fun and so exciting. Um, but it's, it's kind of strange not knowing like what's the future going to be. Um, so, so like, I how does know. that work? Is it like based on how many viewers you had or like, I guess people there's, maybe like surveys or feedback on you and like, whatever, like, how does that work? I think all of that. Um, yeah. yeah. So uh, I, ugh. I don't know. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I'm just a TV host. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think eventually we'll be seeing some of your designs and like a store somewhere. Like that's, that's exactly oh. what I see for you. Cause you're just so amazing. Like, this is Thank so cool. You. I went You're to the doctor so yesterday nice. and I got to, the lady was putting something on TV, like while we were sitting there waiting and she puts on HGTV and my daughter Marley's like, tell her, tell her, you know, Mary, yeah. it's like, Aww. yeah, my friend is on this show. Yeah. And the lady at the doctor was like, oh my God, really? And I'm like, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I love we it. loved watching love it. it. It was so cool. Oh, thank you so much. It makes my day that y'all watch. So it was, it was fun. It, yeah. it was hard to watch myself for the first time, but. Oh, I bet. Oh, you know, I was like, <laughs> oh, oh God. Okay. And I'm like, watch your shoulders, pull your shoulders back. <laughs> like all the things that it was, I've now I've gotten to watch it back because it's really fun. That's funny. Yeah. We were joking about like your mannerisms from watching Chits Creek. I noticed it yesterday oh, yeah. when I was out, I totally did it too. I was like, oh my God, we were just laughing about this. <laughs> totally. Totally. I watching that back is hilarious. Cause I'm like, you can, like I legit just finished binge watching Chits Creek and like half of my <laughs> body language is from it. I'm like, cool, cool. Okay. 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 Got it. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Yeah. So what are your plans for the rest of 2021 and into 2022 with your business? Oh, gosh, that is a fully loaded question. Um, <laughs> I have been making mirrors all summer. I saw that. And um, it's kind of been like my passion project. And <laughs> they're almost laughable at this point. I've spent so much time on these mirrors. Um, they, because like at, at, you know, certain kinds of paint don't, doesn't stick to mirrors. Like 
all these and then I can get spray paint, but I can't control my writing like in the way I want it to look right. And um, there's a lot of factors that go into painted mirrors while it seems like a really simple thing. Um, so I finally am feeling like I'm to a point. I've got some vinyl that I'm gonna uh, that I'm trying on them now, and the vinyl is actually gelling. Um, and some some like different ways to paint now that I've worked around and found. And I found some mirrors that I really like as well. That was hard because I'm picky about what mirrors I'm gonna use. Um, and I I'm gonna try and put those out into the universe and see what happens. Like. I, you know, I found myself, the mirror, this is how the mirrors came about. Um, I, after reading Gabby Bernstein, I would like write my affirmations on my bathroom mirror in a, in a sharp, not in a Sharpie, in a dry erase, not in a Sharpie, in a dry erase <laughs> marker. And they would change and, and it's typically like, what am I working on and how to like, uh, little reminders to stay positive and stay focused and to keep going and all those things. And through that, I was like, I started putting them on um, larger mirrors. Like I have one behind me that says thrive and um, spray painting it on stuff. And then finally I was like, this is, am I just like, I mean, who knows what'll happen with this, but like, who doesn't, I want a height mirror. I want to look in the mirror and like, like look in the mirror and be like, yeah, yeah. Vibes. Yes. Yes. I will thrive. Oh yes. I, and I do got this. Like, Yes. I love the reminders. We all yeah. need it. <laughs> totally. Totally. Like, especially now in life, like this, we've all been through the hell and back and the world is falling apart and it's just hard to find hope right now, you know? And it, I just want to find hope in little, every little place that we can. So through moving 30 minutes a day or looking at cheerleading myself in a mirror. Like if that's what it takes and that's what it takes, I'm going to do it. And, um, I'm going to use those mirrors to cheer me on to hopefully keep business moving for the next year as well. Yeah, that's awesome. I'm here for it. So Thank you. I, I totally want Thank one. I'm, I totally want one. <laughs> totally. <laughs> so what is some advice that you would give to a young designer? just keep doing it. Um, I went to school to study design, but I, and I left, I mean, I discovered myself and I did a bunch of different things and I worked in the music industry and I had a lot of fun and I don't regret any of that at all. Um, but I'm so glad I came back to design and I'm so glad I stayed true to myself and did, I would say to trust yourself and just keep trying and they'll get a lot of rejection and a lot of turn downs and it's going to be a dicey road. And sometimes you have to work a few jobs. I've worked two jobs and three jobs trying to keep up my interior design and keep my own business doing it. Um, but you learn so much. And every time you're on site, you'll learn more and more. Um, and do, I mean, I started with mentors. Um, so starting learning from somebody else and just keep learning. Um, even you don't necessarily have to go to school for design. Sorry, school for design. Um, <laughs> it was very helpful. And I do know a lot of code and per proper construction habits. Um, but, um, you know, I know a lot of girls and not a lot of girls, not just a lot of girls. I know a lot of people um, who are fantastic designers that just stuck with it and tried it. And that's. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. yeah. That's awesome. That's very awesome. Yeah. Very awesome. Well, I know that someday it's my wish to have you design a room in my house. And I know there's other people that feel the same way. So if somebody would love to work with you, how do they go about doing that? Um, go through my website and it'll ask you a few questions. Um, and I'm a little behind on requests at the moment, but um, I will catch up. <laughs> figuring it out. <laughs> one request at a time. Um, yeah, but that, yeah. that's it. Yeah, totally. Awesome. And we'll get there. That's awesome. So tell me some more about your blog too, that you've been doing. Yeah. Um, I wanted to show the, every episode and the before and afters, um, uh, and kind of talk a little bit about it. And I, oh, there's another part to the blog that I haven't added yet, but I will start adding. I purposely like such a nerd purposely spent a lot of time at, figuring out my outfits. I worked in clothing styling for a while as well. And I freaking love styling outfits. It's like, 
one of my greater joys in life. So, I mean, some days I've like dressed to the nines and other days like I wear leggings, you know, whatever. But when the days when I want to get dressed, I really, I really want to get dressed. So uh, yeah. I worked hard on the outfit. So I want to, um, I want to kind of highlight some of those and talk about them or just show them and see, you know, and, and I, um, and that was a lot, like, I had a lot of fun doing that, obviously. So that'll be next. I'll show some, start doing some outfits and music and, um, just different spaces and, you know, a different way to communicate with everybody. I've been thinking about doing like a video blogging instead though, or blogging, I guess is what it's called. Yeah. Um, and I, I don't know, do you think that would be more interesting than reading blogs, like talking, talking through the scenarios rather than I mean, writing personally out? for me, like, I mean, I like both cause I love reading, but I know that there's a lot of interest in, in video. Like it's been really interesting, the yeah. feedback I've gotten about videos with my thing. So yeah, it might be worth looking into in your thing, you know, it might be. Totally. I mean, it's all a learning situation, so for sure. learning as I go. <laughs> for sure. That's <laughs> all we're doing, especially in business. <laughs> totally. Like that's totally. how I am. I'm like, I got no idea, guys. <laughs> I'm just trying it. Just throwing everything at the wall and seeing what sticks and, and just having a good time. <laughs> totally. But the biggest thing I've learned in life, and I know you can probably say the same, is that like, if we never tried, we would never know. So, yeah. yeah, you know, some things stick and some things don't, but I'm just, Trying, trying, <laughs> just trying, just trying to live life as, as full as you can. Totally. Enjoy totally. it while we're here. Absolutely. You're doing, yeah. you're kicking ass yourself, girl. <laughs> I'm trying. I, mean, I love it. I'm trying. <laughs> you all, girl, you're doing it though. You're doing it. And like, you're doing so great. And I just like I, that you inspire me because I watch you every day do, I mean, showing up at the magazine and doing these podcasts and showing up for a hundred days and like, dude, hell yes. Like let's cheer each other on every day. You're showing up and like, that's all it is. It's just putting one foot in front of the other and trying. Just trying to keep myself busy. Cause I swear if I paid attention to the news or something, I would just, right. I can't even. <laughs> I like I look at the news and I'm like, okay, I'm going to go write vibes on a few mirrors now. Yep. I'm just going to go over here and be my own media. Thank you. <laughs> totally. I, I got in, this. I, I, got I invented this. my own little happy media. <laughs> like, no. Totally. Totally. But it's like, that. You, are, you create your reality. Yeah. That's exactly how I feel for sure. So where can everybody find you and follow you and all that good stuff? Um, you can find, oh, look who walked in. Um, <laughs> it's, um, you can find me on, um, Instagram and I have two, I don't, I mean, again, I'm trying, I don't know what I'm doing. I have two accounts. One's personal MW Fox Stasic and the other one is business Mary Welch Fox design. And I'm just winging it. So, um, either one of those places I I'm, I'm on Facebook, but I'm not on, on Facebook. I've like, I have to cut back on how many places I can be and fully give attention. Um, yeah, so I do have an account that runs there, but I probably don't pay attention a lot. Hey. hey. I just trolled a bunch of turds on Facebook for 15 minutes. Oh, good, which I Ryan. never do, but I, I couldn't resist. Nice, You're on a nice. podcast. <laughs> <laughs> It's good. I had to listen. I had, I'll put this out there too. I had to delete a bunch of asshole comments on Instagram. I shared this story about the band having canceled shows and this guy just started going off on some crap. And so I just deleted everything, blocked him. I'm like, nope. Again, I'm no. not in my bubble to get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> totally. We don't have time for this negativity. It's hard enough as it is. Like nobody knows what they're doing and nobody knows what the right answer is. We're all just trying our best and doing what we hope is the best for everybody, but we don't know what we're doing, you know, <laughs> like for give sure. some grace, everybody, everybody give each other some grace right now, please. Yeah. That's how I feel. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, is there anything else that you want to talk about? I mean, I just hope that we can all watch music together soon and hug each other and do it without worrying about people getting sick and just have it with some happy vibes behind it. And 
that's it. I just want to get back to to watching my husband share the love and being and, and like receiving it. Mickey's like never even seen Ryan play. So oh. I um not in Umbry. So I one time she was a baby attached to my chest, but like she doesn't remember that. And yeah. she's like the one that's gonna rage. So Oh I'm my gonna god, gonna she's to gonna be so it. funny. <laughs> oh boy. She's gonna lose it when she sees Ryan. She's like, what? That's what you do? She's gonna like, wanna be gonna on be the like, stage yeah. though. Like she's totally Definitely. Gonna be on without a doubt or like mosh pitting like, <laughs> she'll be right up there raging the rail with everybody on a little step yes. stool <laughs> definitely that is so her vibe so like i want to get back for her to see this i can't like yeah. she can't go any more life without knowing that's what happens <laughs> yeah for sure for sure she's gonna love yeah. it so much totally mm. totally oh, awesome well it was so great to see you, my goodness. Thank you. You too. I really appreciate you having me. And um, I appreciate the sweet gifts you sent. And just, I appreciate your energy and being a part of life together. You're a really yeah. incredible woman. And I'm really oh. proud of you. This is. I feel the same way about you. I love having this, this vibe of women. And I'm so grateful that we've gotten to get to know each other and I'm so proud of you. Like, it's so awesome. You've done this whole thing and it's so rad. Like, I just love it so much. Thank you. <laughs> I'm such a nerd about thank it, but so I think much. it's so cool. <laughs> oh, thank you kindly. No, that's incredible. You made me feel good again. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> me too. I needed this today. So thank you. I did too. I did too. I appreciate you. Yeah, you too. Well, I'm sending you a gigantic hug and I hope everybody's thank doing you. well and everybody's safe and give my love to everybody. I will. Ditto. 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 Thank you, love. Take care. Thanks. You too. Bye. Bye.